Good day, YouTube. This is Robert J. Morris with an EPGN update for October 11th, 2016. Coming up, we're going to have uh, many things that you've missed now uh, since we left you in July regarding Amanda Mary's head injury, uh, things to expect from us in the next couple of weeks, and coming up in this broadcast, we have a fully uncut interview with Adrian Goldberg of the BBC as he interviews Amanda Mary Jewell regarding her involvement with GC Math. We thought it would be our due diligence just to simply post the interview uncut so that you could have the full interview. It is not monetized and it's just there simply for your review. Now, moving forward, Mary did have a head injury in July and it took some time for the uh, injuries to heal. However, she has fully regained her ability to retain memories and is just plugging away as per her usual self. Mary would also like to say thank you to all of those who showed any kind of support whatsoever, whether it be kind emails, chats, or just thinking of her and contacting her. Anyhow, while we've been gone in the last three months, we have basically been hard at work producing a new website for you guys as your source for holistic information, also a social media element for everybody to have a forum for their discussion amongst other like-minded people without all the clutter and chaos of some of the other social media websites. However, we do fully integrate our site with your current social media so that it's like you never left in the first place. So anyhow, that said, moving forward, I would like to play for you this interview with the BBC's Adrian Goldberg, and this is BBC Five Live Investigates. Hello, Amanda Mary. It's Adrian Goldberg here. How are you? I'm jolly good, thank you, Adrian. And yourself? Nice to speak to you. You're all set, are you? Indeed, I think we're all there. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us uh, this evening. So, uh, Amanda Mary, just uh, introduce yourself from the top. Give us your name and, and tell us what you do, really. My name is Amanda Mary Jewell. I'm a cancer researcher of almost two decades and um, a practitioner in holistic medicine. So tell us how you got involved in GC Math and about your clinic in Mexico. OK, it's not actually my clinic in Mexico, actually. I'm a volunteer here. Um, it's, the clinic is the Flor de la Salud in Puebla in Mexico. Um, GC Math, um, I've researched for 20, it's 22 years research actually, um, because that's how long GC Math goes back for. It was um, Sasamari. Um, Yamamoto that first discovered GC math 22 years, well, it's 23 years ago now. It was called uh, globulin in those days, but it's not anything new, basically. When you say it was discovered, what evidence is there that it actually works? Oh, OK. So we've got 22 years of scientific research behind GC math. It's not snake oil. Um, there's 22 years of medical research and full trials done on GC math. And if you go to a website called Sasamari in Japan, um, all the medical studies and the scientific evidence that's behind it um, is apparent to all to see, and it's actually open to all to see. There's nothing hidden. There's Although we've spoken, sorry, Amanda Mary, we've spoken to one top cancer research specialist here in the UK who told us that any research was scientifically extremely dubious. He said that the research has either been retracted or is scientifically dubious. Well, researchers in the UK, I'm afraid there's good and there's bad. There's researchers that can research and there's those that can't and don't do it very well. So my suggestion would be just to have a little word with that researcher and ask him to just pop on Sasamari in Japan and he's going to find all the medical evidence and science backing it. He's not just a researcher, though. He is a professor of oncology. He's one of the UK's top cancer specialists working for a cancer is, research charity. Sorry, and his name is, is that the Peter Johnson, if, Professor oh, Peter Johnson. Oh, yes, yes, I do know. I do know, actually, yes. 
So that's the gentleman that backs the chemotherapy. You see, cancer research in the UK has been going for many, many years. Every year, they, there's billions that go into cancer research in the UK, and they try and do a good job, I must say. But sadly, they come up with the same old chemotherapy, radiation, surgery. They get a pat on the back every year from failing and continue again the next year with the next so many billions and they keep collecting from people and they still come with the same chemotherapy radiation and surgery this is a there will be there will be amanda mary sorry to interrupt there will be many thousands of people in the uk a fair number of them i'm sure listening to this program whose lives have been saved or extended as a result of using chemotherapy or radiotherapy that's a fact, isn't it? No. Actually, here's the facts from the Cancer Research UK. Many patients diagnosed with cancer often opt for chemotherapy. Did you know that it actually kills 50% of people? In the UK, not just the UK worldwide, your specialists take a Hippocratic Oath. Have you ever heard of that? I have heard of that, yes. Okay. I don't think any cancer well, researcher say, would, I don't think just, any cancer researcher would say, deny that there are side effects to chemotherapy. You're not, not seriously just side suggesting. Effects, not Amanda just, Mary, let me just finish the point, please. But you didn't you're let not, me answer the previous question. Okay, well, uh, you're not seriously suggesting that chemotherapy and radiotherapy haven't saved lives, are you? 3%. But what chemotherapy is, so the Hippocratic Oath is do no harm and never give a poison. Now, every one of your special, specialists in the UK sign that. Chemotherapy is mustard gas. Please check this. This is 100% correct. Now, it does have its cures. It's 3%. It also kills people. Now, no one in your medical in industry works can deny this. It kills not only the good cells, but it kills the bad cells. Chemotherapy is given in a hospital environment in the UK, where it runs at the perfect breeding grounds for viruses. Chemotherapy takes away your immune system, thus the people, 50% of people, if their bodies are strong enough to cope with the chemotherapy they can die from a common cold because they don't have any immunity it's the cure now, as i said amanda mary i don't think anybody who has people. experience of chemotherapy would deny that it has sometimes significant side effects i said to you are you seriously questioning that thousands of people have had their lives saved or extended by chemotherapy or radiotherapy? Three percent of the people taking chemotherapy is what you're saying. It's three percent survive it. And I'm saying that hundreds of thousands of people have had their lives saved or extended by chemotherapy. That's what the top cancer specialists in this country say. And those hundreds of thousands of people, although they, are, they may survive it, what you have to ask yourself is what quality of life they've had with chemotherapy when they're weighing in at next to nothing. They can't walk. They've got no immune system. They, they're, they're vomiting constantly. Chemotherapy takes away quality of life. I had chemotherapy and I was told I had weeks to live in the end. And so no, Amanda Mary, but you patients are... come to me when the chemotherapy's failed, when the radiation has failed, when the three percent chance that they believed were going to cure them, and it is so ke chemotherapy is a ferocious it's ferocious chemistry, it really is. It's ferocious what it does. It does and you are selling, Amanda Mary, uh, a substance called GC Math. Yes. And you're very critical correct. of the medical establishment, as we have heard. If I had you a road traffic accident, I want to, I'm not against the medical establishment. You're completely wrong. I want to work hand in hand with them. What I'm well, against say, is hospitals yeah. feeding patients filth and not food, putting Burger Kings in the UK in hospitals. They know that sugar feeds cancer. 
So where do you get your GC math? Where is it made and under what conditions? Could we come and inspect one of the factories, for example? Um, if you have a look again, go to Sasamari in Japan. Well, I'm asking you. Go on. Yes, it's called Sasamari in Japan. I'm a dis distributor for them. Um, there's been, I mean, you only have to look, everything's online. And I'm sure if you contact Martin in Japan, you'll be more than welcome to take a visit and to have a look around the sterile conditions. They're, they're, they're regulated very, very highly. Is that where you get the GC math that you're selling from? Yes, I dis distribute for Sasamari in Japan. And are you currently selling GC math in the UK? No, I live in Mexico. Although we have got evidence that you are supplying GC math in the UK. If someone asks me in the UK, anyone in the world, I will definitely help them to purchase GC math. But it'll be GC math, that, not something um, like Leslie Hutchings does claiming. In the UK, people are claiming that they are making GC math. Um, and selling it, but actually it's just peptides. If anyone wants GC math, they go for the originators of it, where it's all scientifically backed up. And, that's and if somebody in the UK asked you, Amanda Mary, to supply them with GC math, you would do that then? I would definitely send them the link to, to where to purchase it from, yes. We understand that's uh, an offence. Do you, do you ever provide it to people in the UK? No, I can't provide in the UK because I don't live in the UK. Mm. And it's not myself that provides it, it's Sasamari, but I certainly back it to the hilt. It's immunotherapy. Do you know, did you check with your gentleman at Cancer Research that you know? They're actually doing trials on the immunotherapy and they're having some good successes. But of course, if they increase the strength and they do um, a full trial, that will be wonderful. And I do hope that they do that. But I'm not against the medical establishment. I support there so is currently no evidence, we've been told, by one of the country's leading oncologists to suggest that GCMAF has a positive effect in the treatment of cancer, that it helps to cure it. Well, I'm sure because in England they do keep coming up with the same thing, chemotherapy, radiation, surgery. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm not there to teach your cancer researchers there, um, but I'll, I'll be very happy if they contact me to send them the link and to share the knowledge that we have. But we're not just talking about access to links, are we? We're, we're talking about no, we're talking your criticism. access to information, a fact, scientifically backed information. Well, scientific fact, scientific years. fact that is questioned in the UK by mm -hmm. leading cancer scientists. Um, you ones, say that you are a senior. Let's... Amanda Mary, can I finish my point, please? You say that you are a senior cancer researcher. Mm -hmm. What qualifications do you have to call yourself that? I've got, 20, I've got nearly two years of going to check so many different trials. Qualifications, no, I, di I, I didn't go to medical school. You're not a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. Do you have any medical training whatsoever? Yes, I do. I've also, What's that medical I, I've training? Also, what, is, what medical training do you have? I, I, I did a, a, a two-year course in autopsies in coronary. That's where I learned a lot more about cancer. I've done the past 15 years working with oncologists and I'm still working. I work with the medical profession here. We work with neurosurgeons. We work, we work with MDs. We work with um, biochemists. We don't work, we're not using snake oil here. If, in, in the UK, you're, t you're telling me that you believe these people, these cancer researchers, this famous person whom you're relying on, that took a Hippocratic oath, never give a poison and do no harm, is giving chemotherapy. Now, that's a liar. Why he would anyone trust? Why, well, why, why would anyone trust? Why would and Amanda Mary, trust Amanda Mary, why would anybody trust him when he's when he is lying every day? Why would anyone trust Amanda Mary, someone to treat them for cancer who is not a qualified doctor? 
because we get results. People actually walk out of here alive. When, when the medical industry in the UK have failed, completely failed, but somebody has actually had the energy to live through the chemotherapy, when they're told, I'm sorry, there's nothing more that we can do. And then they ask, is there anything anybody can do? They, they're given the death pack and told to go home and read the book before I say goodbye. So when they've exhausted every single avenue possible to them, they then come to me. How much does a course of GC math and the associated treatments that you offer cost? Um, 300 US dollars per vial. Chemotherapy, I think, was 60,000 around. So we're probably talking about 6,000 in total against your 60,000. Although, of course, in the UK on the and NHS, chemotherapy is provided free at the no, point of access, whereas GC Math isn't provided free no, at the point of access. No, it's not free. Please don't lie. You're, you know, this is also being recorded. No treatment in the UK is free. You're paying national insurance. You're paying for it all your life. Please don't tell me. I think me I said, free. Amanda Mary, it is, a, it is available free at the point of access. That was the phrase that I used. But You're it's talking not about, free. It's not free, is it? it? It's free at the point of access for the patients. Well, the, the patients point at which have they need already it. paid. They've already paid for it in advance, actually, their medical treatment for years, paying national insurance. So you're charging 300 US dollars a vial of GC math to people whose hopes of using conventional treatments such as chemotherapy have failed. Have have, failed. Have failed. <laughs> yes. So, uh, but you're not a doctor. No. Aren't, but, aren't you just exploiting on. the hopes of desperate, vulnerable people? Absolutely not. I work with oncologists here. I work with MDs. I work with neurosurgeons that were trained in Europe. I do, I, if you think for one moment that I sit in my chair and I am not everything, I am just a volunteer. I am not a main practitioner here. I'm not the one with the medical license. So maybe you sh you. But the, but the evidence for GC math, the scientific evidence, we are told, has either been retracted or is scientifically dubious. So you are selling for hundreds of pounds a treatment for which there is no scientific basis and, and you no independent scientific works. basis and, and you are not a qualified doctor. I'm not a qualified doctor. I'm working with a product that has 100% scientific fact behind it and does no harm, unlike chemotherapy. So when people in the UK, if, you, if one of your loved ones was diagnosed with a terrible disease, cancer, and then they're told there's nothing more that they can do, do you think they should lie in bed and say, well, I'll just die, or you think they should look for something. The evidence of hundreds of thousands of people that have been told there's nothing more we can do are still alive today, years later, from be being given weeks and months to live. They've been given the death sentence, and the medical industry in the UK will not even tell them that there are things that can help them. Cannabis oil. It, it's a criminal offence that that's not legal. Why do you think it is then that the medical profession, which is generally full of people who want to do good for other people, doesn't recognise the virtues of GC math? If they wanted to do good, they wouldn't be using chemotherapy and radiation. Chernobyl, why do you think the, the benefits? Why do you think the benefits of GC math are not recognised? independently, scientifically tested, recognised as a cure been. for cancer. It has been. And it's, it's, in, it's in trials now in the UK. Well, it, under it, it, hasn't been, it, hasn't, it hasn't been independently, scientifically proven to cure cancer. That's not true, Amanda Mary. And it's not just me saying that. It's Peter Johnson from Cancer Research UK.
Well, I, you know, Peter Johnson's the, the guy that lies every day who took the Hippocratic Oath, never give uh, poison and do no harm. And he does it every day. He's a liar. He's using Is it possible, Amanda Mary, Amanda Mary, is it possible that you are the liar and that you are selling false hope to extremely vulnerable people by no. offering them a quack remedy? You're hitting on one product, actually, and we use lots more. We use stem cells as well. We use a whole host of treatments. GC math is not a golden bullet. I, I do not pro promote GC math as a cure, a sole cure for cancer. I definitely don't do that, although it's, uh, it's an immunotherapy. And what that does, it, it helps your body with its own immune system, which has been taken away from by the chemotherapy. It's not a sole product as a cure for cancer. It's well, you offer, you offer uh, treatments, don't you? For example, a combination of GC math and pine stem kernels, which, pine kernel, it's called which according stem to Peter cells. Johnson is potentially dangerous. Oh, you're talking apricot kernels. Sorry, um, my apologies. I'll, I'll ask you that question again, my mistake. Uh, you offer treatments, don't you, combining uh, GC math with apricot kernels. Uh, Peter Johnson says that that is a potentially dangerous cocktail. Peter Johnson's absolutely an imbecile because that is completely false. I don't offer a treatment of um, apricot kernels at all. What I do do is I promote a fact that an apricot kernel contains B17. And B17 is a nutrient that has been known to, to help towards cancer. And that's all I say. And that's true. There's too many people out there that claim that it's been useful for them. But no, I can't say that an apricot kernel, although I think it has some benefits, I can't say that I would use that as a cancer treatment. Stem cells, on the other hand, is something else that we use. And um, if you look up stem cells, I don't think they can be doubted somehow. You're claiming a 100% success rate in treating brain tumours. We've been told that is just not true. Again, one of the top doctors in research here into cancer in the UK told us there is, and I'm quoting here, absolutely no evidence to support that. Well, then people must be the walking dead then, because sadly for um, Peter Johnson, the people are alive and they were told that they had a short period of time to live. There's nothing more that they can do. Your crew actually contacted an old patient of mine. And so that lady's actually alive. She has a heartbeat. She's not buried like Peter Johnson's crew said she'd be dead. But she's alive. She didn't have to say goodbye at 34 to a three-year-old daughter. She's actually living an active, healthy life. If that's not evidence of somebody living, surviving the terrible, abrasive chemotherapy radiation, and it did nothing to the brain tumours, but now we know that you are sorry. Yeah, so we we have got the brain scans from just three months ago. There's 70% reduction, and that's given by oncology in the UK. They've asked how she did it. They don't know, there's, because there's, there's no evidence. they can there's do. There's no evidence. We're, well, we're told by the experts well, there's alive. no evidence to suggest that's caused by GC math. Uh, Amanda it Mary, wasn't GC Amanda math. Mary. Why, why, you, why, do you, why do you keep about GC math? GC math is one product, one product. Stem well, cells. that's one we are talking Stem about. Stem cells uh, is the big thing for cancer. Amanda Mary, we know that you are supplying GC math to people in the UK at a cost of hundreds of pounds. Do you know that's illegal? You mean against giving a poison of chemotherapy and radiation being legal? When radiation, Chernobyl, 
people got cancer from that chemotherapy mustard gas let's go to germany in that war how many uh, people, amanda how mary many amanda mary i'm not sure what you're talking about i'm putting to you the allegation that you are selling illegally gc math in the uk for hundreds of pounds why are you doing that? GC Math, as well as any other product. I understand the BBC and how you work, and I understand how it will be manipulated, hence we're recording it here too. You haven't answered my question. GC Math works for immunity. No one's saying that... It, I, I've not said that it cures cancer. I've said is it's a helpful immunotherapy treatment towards cancer is what I've said. And yes, I will tell anybody in the UK it's available for sale. I do not sell GC map from the UK at all. And I do not make profit, more importantly, from GC math. Amanda Merrick, uh, I think we're done. Uh, let me just check with my uh, production team, see if there's any, uh, any other bits and bobs that I've ignored. Thank you for your time so far. Just bear no with problem. us for one second. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Amanda Merrick, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you. We're done. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Right. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.